welcome to the tutorial for face milling and pocketing operations so in this we are considering a part and will be conducting face milling and pocketing in the software called creo so basically we are considering a part and naming it mill1 we are considering a template wherein we are using dimensions as mm now we are considering the right plane and sketching a rectangular box of dimension 100 mm by 200 mm after this we are extruding it to create a box with a width of 100 mm now on the top surface we are creating a rectangular pocket of depth 15 mm. The dimension of the pocket is 100 mm by 40 mm. So by using extrude cut we are creating a depth of 15 mm. After creating the part, we will be saving the part and we will then continue to create a virtual manufacturing process. So we are considering manufacturing and considering a template MMNC. Now we are create, con taking the reference model, the model which we had created. Then we are taking the automatic constraint as default. Then we are creating a reference axis system. This axis will be used by the milling tool as a reference. After this we are creating a workpiece and we will be taking it as automatic workpiece. Now we are considering the work center as mill and the operation to be considered as milling and the axis reference axis as the axis we have just denoted now we are taking face milling and we'll be continuing the operation we don't have a tool so we first need to give the dimension of the tool required so we are giving the dimension to the tool and the first tool under consideration is tool 01 now for the reference we are taking a mill window and taking considering a milling surface so we took a mill surface and now we are considering the mill window and putting the surface as the reference now we are considering the parameters to consider the face milling operations we are giving a clearance distance such that once the operation is over the tool will be at a clearance distance from the surface of the object. After this, we will be considering play path option to see virtually how the manufacturing process or shape milling would be taking place. After this, we will be considering pocketing operations. Here we are considering the tool which we had already defined before and now we are giving parameters for the operation to take place. We are defining parameters like cut speed, depth of cut and spindle speed. After this, we are considering the model and we will be giving surfaces on which the pocketing operation has to take place. So we are selecting all the four surfaces and the bottom surface such that pocketing would take place in between them. After doing OK and finishing the operation, we will consider play path option to virtually see how the pocketing operation would take place.
after this what we will do is we'll be considering play path option to check how both the operations would simultaneously take place so here the facing operation would be conducted first and the pocketing operation would be conducted after that such that the whole operation would be undergoing in this sequence thank you for watching the tutorial